I believe we are live. I believe we're live. Welcome to my studio. I'm Andy Morris, and today we will, I will be working a little bit on this painting, and then I have some other paintings that uh, are in process as well. I generally have quite a few paintings you know, that I'm working on at a time. The reason being is that, um, is anybody here yet? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe nobody's here. I'm talking to myself. That's okay. If you're here, say something. Hey, okay. I can't hardly read these. All right, so I see a few people. Hello. <laughs> Glad you're here. Okay, so like I said, um, I usually have several paintings. I always have several paintings that are in process. And uh, the main reason for that is because a lot of times, especially on these smaller canvas, this is a small canvas to me, by the way. It's 24 by 36. You could call it a medium-sized canvas, but it's certainly not large. <clears throat> and when I'm working on something this size, a lot of times when I get to a point like this, I'm only going to be working on it for a few minutes before I re reach a point where I have to stop and let the paint dry before I can go any farther. So I keep, you know, a dozen paintings laying around that are not finished. And, uh, and that gives me something else to do. So, you know, so we'll be doing something like that today. All right. The first thing I noticed about this, first of all, I, <laughs> I really don't like this painting, but I'm going to keep working on it. Uh, uh, sort of for y'all's sake, because maybe I can get something out of this. We'll see. But I definitely don't like this green background. It, it's not playing well with the rest of the rest of whatever has happening here. It's uh, the value is too close to this, and um, there's just not any you know strong color contrast except for down in this area. Uh, but with this, I mean, these are practically now just colors. So I'm going to take a left turn. And I'm using some house paint. Um, it's it's the bare samples that I was telling you about. If you if you end up liking this color, it's called Sweet Cherry, and it's bare marquee color sample. It's from Home Depot, and it's kind of a wild color. I, it looks like hot pink to me. Remember when everybody was painting a lot of stuff hot pink? <laughs> that was a long time ago. So, oh, by the way, let's see if I can box myself in there. Here's my cup with water with the brushes, and I'm not sure when the last video was. A week ago, almost. So I haven't, uh, I haven't changed the water or anything. You know, so just so you know, that's how some of us do it. Oh yeah. So sometimes I just like to make, when I when I've got a painting that I feel like is going nowhere, you know, the, it's just not doing anything for me. See that? Look at all those drips coming out of there. I don't care about that. Um, when I have a painting that I feel like is just very weak and isn't, you know, doesn't have really much going on for it, you know, I'll just take a hard turn. You know, I'll just introduce something, you know, pretty dramatic. You know, I mean, if I don't paint over the whole thing. You know, you know I might come in. You know, another option I had with this that I considered was, uh, you know, putting some collage elements in there. You know, just like, you know, destroying a great deal of what's here already. But you see how this adds contrast because this color is bright. This color is, um, for the most part, it's flat. And uh, it's just a, a, you know, a high contrast to these dull, muddy colors. Because, I mean, this is mud. I made mud all over this canvas. Sometimes I do that on purpose. I don't, I'm not afraid of mud. Because you, these are acrylics. You can paint over it, you know, right away almost. You know, and I think every painting needs a little bit of mud. You know, I mean, if you can learn how to work with mud, that's an accomplishment in my mind. <laughs> I 
I don't know. I, I don't know. You know, this may get changed again. The, the background color may get changed again. I don't know. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes there'll be five or six layers. And then what I'll do is, you know, at the, at the edges, like if I did come on with another color, see a lighter pink or whatever, then I would let it I would let some of this peek through at the edges, but I don't even know. I mean, I'm planning ahead now and I don't generally do that. Yeah. I'm just saying sometimes that's what's happened. All right. So as you can see, I'm not too worried about, you know, preserving these shapes. I mean, it might look like I am, but I'm not, you know, these edges because I didn't really like what was happening at the edges anyway. All right, let me get this finished up. All right, so, uh, wow. <laughs> well, that changed it, that's for sure. I don't know, what do, you, what do you guys think? What What are you typing? Nothing, okay, hi. <laughs> uh, well, okay, so, from here, where would I go? Well, from here, I, might, I, got some, I just got some black paint laying out here on my canvas, on my uh, palette. So from here, I might take some of the black and come in and redefine what's going on here. I don't like what's happening on the bottom there. So some of my favorite brushes are brushes that have gone through a lot of abuse. It's just the marks they make. You can't buy a brush. That's a million dollar idea. Maybe I'll start selling abused brushes. Anyway, um, so I got some white here that I'm going to add just a little bit of blue to because I don't, I want to, I definitely want to change everything that's had pretty much everything on the whole canvas, but one area at a time, I guess. So I just put like one little, one little drop of blue in there and that might be too much in you know, all of that. So it's, it's about 20 parts white and one part blue. I'll just stir it up with my brush. No, that's okay. That's, that's a pretty good light blue. Just come in here. Get some energy down there. Okay. And maybe while I got this color out, maybe I'll come up here and maybe I'll... I accidentally grabbed some of that paint, but that's okay. You know, that's, it, can, it can work. It might work out well because it, it could end up adding some harmony in the long run. I don't know. Okay, so uh, let me step back for just one second. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know. It's going somewhere. I'm not sure where. I'm going to keep playing with it for just a little while, though. I'm just going to really, I'm not going to think too much. Here's some orange. This is, see, it doesn't even, it, doesn't even, it just said, oh, chrome orange. Never heard of that before. So these are cheap paints. Who knows what they're using for pigment? Hope it isn't an endangered species. So I'm just going to come in here with this, and I'm not sure where I'm going to go. Maybe, maybe that ear could be. Just get some 
some radical colors going here. graphite or charcoal I guess this is charcoal I got a charcoal pencil here that I tried to sharpen I didn't do too good a job Teeth need a lot of work. So and remember, I'm not trying to paint anything, you know, uh, realistic at all. You know, so. You know, sometimes I just. Sometimes I just. Uh, Try to paint like I'm, or draw like I'm a kid, you know. Because I want that energy. I want that spontaneous, uninhibited energy to be conveyed in the painting, if I can. You know, I want I want the mark making to be. Very crude and primitive. All right, so that's that's as much as I can do on that one for right now. Uh, and I'm not sure I really made progress or not, but I but I mean it, it it's different. It's different than it was, so it gives me something else to work with when I come back to it. So I would set this aside. I am setting this aside. I don't want to get any paint on my floor if I can help it. I already have though. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, I've been choked up lately. I guess it's that time of year for allergy sufferers. So this is another painting done in this whimsical or crazy figurative, abstract, figurative style. And again, I don't like the background on this, so I'm going to change it. I'm not going to use that same color. I've got a different color here. This this color, actually, I don't. I don't know what this color is now. The label's missing. Sorry about that. It's a wonderful, well, I think it's like periwinkle or something. It's, you know, it's like a real light lavender, I guess. And the only brush I have is the one that had pink on it. So I'm not going to clean it out that well. We'll see what happens. A lot of times I just do stuff, you know, just see what happens, you know. And you, some of that pink is coming through, that's okay. And on this one, I don't think I'm going to paint it quite as solid. You know, I'm going to let some of those colors that are already on there peek through and stuff. Mostly, I just wanted to to make I just wanted to make a little bit greater contrast between the colors that are in the background and in the foreground. You know, is all I was really trying to do. All I'm trying to do here. I 
Oops, I want a little more water. So I'll just dip it in that dirty water, that water that's been sitting there for a week. <laughs> Now a lot of that pink's coming out. All right. I think I think I like that better. Maybe there's still more work to be done on this. The values, the value, the value contrasts that exist here aren't very strong uh, there's a lot that can be done about that oh well, see i accidentally grabbed some that's okay i like like that what happened there Now, I don't want to lose that. I like that red there, so I'm going to see if I can kind of paint around. That can be his eyeball, I guess, or something. And you can use your fingers. That's how I started painting when I was five with my fingers. All right. So I don't know where this goes. I think that's probably about all I can do. All right, so how are y'all doing there? I got some comments. What are y'all saying? I can't hardly read this. <laughs> I think I need a huge screen. It's like, my eyes are getting bad. Uh, indeed, a better contrast. The pink certainly livens it up. Yeah. Uh, paint camellia, uh, camellia in the background. <laughs> Behind Charles. Okay. That sounds good. Awesome for the Halloween season. Okay. Listen, guys, um, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, how about how about you come back tomorrow, same, same time, same channel, and I will continue to work on these two, and I'll probably have a couple of new paintings to, um, to work on as well. Does that sound good? Thanks. Thank you. All right. I'll see you later. I think I know how to end it this time. Well, I'm clicking on it. There it goes.